Island's Tragic Fate, a stark reminder of the refugee crisis. In the annals of human history, there are moments that serve as painful reminders of our collective failure to protect the most vulnerable among us. Island Kurdi, a three-year-old Syrian boy, and his five-year-old brother, Galib, along with their parents, became symbols of desperation and tragedy when their ill-fated attempt to reach Europe ended in their tragic drowning in the Mediterranean Sea. Island, whose innocent face graced headlines worldwide, should have been tucked safely into bed, warm and alive. Instead, his tiny lifeless body washed ashore, begging the world to reflect on its actions and policies concerning refugees. The Desperate Escape Island's story is one of countless tales of despair and hopelessness that have unfolded during the ongoing refugee crisis. Fleeing the violence, oppression, and dire poverty of their war-torn homeland in Syria, the Kurdi family embarked on a perilous journey in search of safety and a better life in Europe. It's a journey that thousands of families like theirs have undertaken, seeking refuge from the horrors of conflict and persecution. The Mediterranean Graveyard Their journey took them across the perilous waters of the Mediterranean, a treacherous route that has claimed the lives of thousands of refugees. These waters, once a symbol of beauty and freedom, have transformed into a graveyard for those desperately seeking safety. The overcrowded, unseaworthy boats provided by human smugglers offer little chance of survival. The Humanitarian Imperative The heartbreaking image of Ireland's lifeless body lying face down on a Turkish beach shocked the world and elicited an outpouring of grief and sympathy. But sympathy alone is not enough. Ireland's death should serve as a clarion call to action. It should compel us to re-evaluate our collective response to the refugee crisis and reaffirm our commitment to the fundamental principles of humanity. Our Europe, our responsibility. Ireland's death is not solely a tragedy for Syria, it is a tragedy for all of humanity. Europe, with its prosperous nations and stable democracies, must acknowledge its responsibility in this crisis. The Kurdi family's desperation is a result of the world's failure to provide adequate support and protection to those who need it most. We must ask ourselves, what kind of Europe do we want to be? A call for change. Ireland's image serves as a haunting reminder that our actions, or lack thereof, can have devastating consequences. It's time for a different Europe, one that recognizes the moral imperative to provide sanctuary to those fleeing violence and persecution, one that champions empathy and compassion over indifference and apathy. Conclusion As Island Kurdi is laid to rest, our collective conscience must not rest. His tiny body serves as a symbol of the desperation faced by countless refugees worldwide. It's a reminder that humanity transcends borders and that we are all responsible for ensuring that tragedies like this do not continue to occur. It's a call to action, a call for a more compassionate, humane, and inclusive Europe, one that will ensure that no child, no family, has to suffer the same fate as Ireland and his loved ones. May they rest in peace, and may their story ignite change and compassion across the world.